Good evening, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Excellent. So welcome to our most unorthodox concert setting of all time. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we're trying tonight. And we're trying this for the first time. So um, I want to welcome you to our first open rehearsal. We've never tried this before. Um, part of this is because we have so many fantastic students part of our music program that I'm sure you noticed that our December concert was a little overcrowded. Um, so we're partly doing this so that we can have seats for everyone and that everyone can actually see their students and we're safe, okay? Um, but we thought it would be a great opportunity as well uh, for you to see the process that it takes to get to what you're about to hear tonight. Um, a lot of different disciplines. When we have um, curriculum night, you might get to see the process of what happens on team. Um, and the process here in band is, is a lot different. Um, so we're gonna show you some things that we do each day to get the students to where they are um, each concert. We have seen so much tremendous um, improvement and growth from not only fifth grade to sixth grade, but just from December till now. Um, so I, I thought it would be really wonderful for you to get to see some of the concepts that we talk about in class and to see some of the things that the students work towards each day. So the first thing that we're gonna start with tonight is just our warm-ups. And our warm-ups really focus on um, developing a great sound. So if the students want to be heard, they need to play with a great sound. So we focus on the, the ideas of on their instrument, what it takes to create a great sound. So the parts are going to be simple for our scales. They're going to move in unison. They're going to be listening to one another and really focus on creating a great sound on their instrument. It's also going to work on another basic concept of just simply starting and stopping together. So as we run through our scales, you might see me stop. It's probably because someone might have missed the downbeat or somebody might have not cut off with me. Okay, so just some simple concepts that we start with every day that really just focus on, focus on not moving your fingers all that much, but great sound, watching, staying together. Okay, so we'll start there. <coughs> Got to be flat. Line 83. Did you see them put their instruments up? They don't usually do that. Okay, line 83. Oops. Okay, so nice warm sound. Listen down to the low people. Please don't miss the downbeat. See, see now I told you I would never do that in a concert, but I did. So did I give a downbeat? No. No, tricked you. Wait for it. Eyes on me. that time? So Eva? Um, you held the top note for longer. I held my top note. How many people saw me hold my top note? How many missed it? Oh, come on. <laughs> try that again. I might try and mess with you. Don't let me mess with your tempo. Eyes on me. You know your scale. Eyes out of the book. <laughs> So one of the things that we do with this, um, and it's pretty simple, but one of the things that we do with this, and at the end you hear there are five chords, okay? So, <clears throat> so one of the things we do with those chords is we talk about balance, okay? Um, so the low people need to be heard the loudest, 
then the middle people, trumpets and saxophones, and then the flutes and clarinets floating on top. Mr. Purdy refers to it like a sundae. Ice cream, whipped cream, cherry on top. We need more ice cream, we need a little less whipped cream, we need just the cherry floating on top. So we're going to see if we can make it a little bit more balanced on those last five chords. Okay? Can, I, can we play just the last five chords? Can we listen down to the low people? And I want you to keep it balanced. Okay, so lots of trombones, euphoniums, French horn. Oh, we don't have euphoniums. Okay, saxophones and trumpets, you overpower, so lighten up. Flutes and clarinets floating on top, just the five chords. One of those five chords was weird. Which one was it? Hold it up on one hand. Was it one, two, three, four, or five? Okay, try one more time. Check your notes, please. Watch your key signature, last five chords. Nice cut off. Cool. I'll keep on our time. Okay, concert E flat. One more run through. Could probably. Should we do E flat? <clears throat> so we're very fortunate here that the light of the is usually go this way. So when we see the food section very fast, we see just the foods. We see just the section. 95. Fly 95. So okay. in a lot of ways, it's kind of working on very high quality ingredients. <clears throat> Line 95. Show them how to be a good audience. So when we do the chords at the end, and when we do shortly after the chords, with this scale, we'll do a simple line number 56. That process is about getting the students to listen to all the other sounds of the ensemble that they don't hear during the school day. So they'll get a chance to sort of mix those ingredients together. So we'd have high quality ingredients mixed together properly for a high quality cooking. So we're going to do one more scale. It's in a different key. It's going to focus on different range for our different instrumentalists. Um, for our brass, it's a little bit more challenging in range. Okay, it gets them to play higher notes, which is a challenge for our trumpets and trombone players. Um, for our saxophones and, and clarinets, it focuses on the lower range. They need to use more air. We're not going to spend as much time on this one, just so you can see the process, and then we can move into some music. Okay, by 95. What? Lots of air into your belly. Nice warm sound. Hot air into the instrument. That was a nice cutoff. Did you see that sound go past them and come back to you or hear it? Okay, really nice sound. Okay, line 56, please. So, so the next warm up that we do is a, is a little mini A major song. Um, also, fairly simple. It has two parts, but instead of Instead of focusing on just one unison sound like we do in our scales, it's not going to focus on two parts. And it's still fairly simple so we can focus on our band sound. Not just our, our own individual sound on our instrument, but our band sound. Mr. Purdy alluded that, to that a little bit and we talked about it in the chords. For this song we're going to have two parts moving at different times. It's a little bit more complicated, but simple enough that they can really focus on balanced sound and our band sound. Let, let's see if they know, let's, let's see if, 
Sorry, it's got a delay. Let's see if they know what other concept we're working on with line 56. What are we trying to avoid in line 56? I'm going to say one, two, three. You say it on three all together. One, two, three. Space. That was pretty good. Okay, so we want no space between our notes. Okay, so after we play this, I would like you to grade them. Okay, one to five. One, you heard space in between every notes. They're breathing after every note. Five, it was continuous sound with no space at all. Now, there's one caveat. They have to breathe after measure four or they'll pass out. That's no good. So, so after four measures, you'll see me give a breath with them. They're allowed to breathe there. So they're allowed to have one space. Okay, smooth and connected, no space. So just grade them on one to five. One's lots of space, five's no space. <coughs> Everybody move forward a little bit. Trombone just squished. Okay. <laughs> Be good. Smooth and connected. I want to see all fives out there. Nope. Not ready. Sit up on the edge of your seat, please. Good posture. Okay, what do you think? Five. <laughs> True parents. Okay, so what do you give yourselves? What, what do you give yourselves? Hold it up, one to five. One's lots of space, five's no space. Okay, so I'm seeing threes and fours. Okay, I'd probably give them a three. Lots of space after measure two, lots of space after measure six. We're going to do it one more time. We're going to try and eliminate the space after measure two and six. Okay? Here we go. Ready? Go up one notch. If you're at a two, go to a three. No space after two or six. If you have to breathe, don't breathe there. Okay? Yet yeah, we're speeding up just a little bit. Okay? You thought that was better? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Nice job. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so those are our so those are our warm ups. Uh, our first song today we can turn to Bunker Hill. Okay. Our fir first song that we're going to work on a little bit is called Bunker Hill March. Okay. Just turn to Bunker Hill March. Uh, one of the things that we talk about with each of our songs, we try and uh, provide our students with a, a, different, uh, a, a few different styles and genres um, to learn as we go. Um, and one common genre is a march. In all different cultures, we have different types of marches, but usually the concepts of a march are the same. There is usually a key change. There is usually space between our notes, where we didn't have space before in line 56. Okay, we're going to try for space in, in the march. Okay, so we've worked on putting space between our notes. And we've also introduced some more complex rhythmic concepts, which is a dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note. Okay, we're going to play a section of our piece, and then we're going to actually clap it a little bit so we can work on refining that rhythm.
So you'll get to hear them play the rhythm first. We're going to do some clapping so we can hopefully refine that rhythm and we'll see if we can improve it just a little bit. Okay? So that is no longer a distraction. Cool. Thank you. <coughs> okay, measure 63. Measure 63. 63 to the end. 63 first time to the end. Okay? 63 both times to the end. Okay? First time. They just reminded me. One of the other concepts of a march is, um, is a confusing road map. So we have some repeats. We have some um, having divert our eyes back to another section in the song, which at first time, first time we see that it can be really confusing um, for for you know dedicated and, and professional musicians, let alone sixth grade musicians. So it takes a lot of repetition. Um, so you're going to hear us play the the last uh, part of this song twice. So they have to play the song, the last part of the song, and then they're going to repeat it back. And in the beginning, we're losing a lot of musicians, and they were getting lost. Um, and we've done a great job really starting to get a handle on our roadmap of our song. We call it our roadmap. Here we go. 63 to the end. Okay, watch your repeat. One and two and one, two. One, two. So a few of the things that happened that time, um, percussion, what did you think happened that time? Yeah. We what? What happened that time? What happened to our tempo? We slowed down. Okay, so we slowed down just a little bit. Um, if we look at the bass drum right here, raise your hand. The bass drummer is the captain of a march. Okay, so she needs to have her eyes focused on me and she's going to establish our tempo. And the rest of the percussion section needs to drive the rest of the band. And we slow down just a little bit, so we're going to try this time not to slow down. Before we do that, we're going to, like I said, clap through measure 63 just to 71. Okay, and I want you to see if you can hear the different parts. Our trombones are going to just be playing, clapping quarter notes, so they're the only people really that we should be here clapping on beat two. And everybody else has that more complex rhythmic concept that we talked about earlier. One and two and one, two. So let's see how they do. So we're going to clap just those eight bars. Ready? Sixty-three. Sixty-three to seventy-one. Just clapping. Ready? One. Clap your part, whatever you have. So flutes, I know you're weird, be weird. One, two, one and two and clap and go. And stop. What's happening to our tempo now? Speeding up. Can we try that one more time? Okay, so the one thing that you can hear too, our flutes are having little interjections, okay? They're a very different part of the band right now, and they're kind of interacting with our melody section. We're just playing our dotted quarter note eighth note. So see if you can hear our flutes clapping on the ends of the beats. Okay, don't speed up. One, watch me, don't speed up. One, and actually, uh, percussion, can you play? <coughs> Everybody else clap. I want percussion to play. 63. 63 to 71 and stop. I want percussion to play. Everybody else clap. One, two. One and two and clap and go. And stop. I know I went beyond 71. Okay, nice job. Can we play it now? 63 to the end. Okay. 
63 to the end, both times, please. One, 63 to the end, both times. Precaution, it's fantastic to see you counting out loud. Nice job. Okay, don't slow down, push ahead. Here we go. One, two, one, and two, and. <laughs> Sit up. Good job. Okay. Okay, simple gifts. Simple gifts. So, so one of the advantages of experimentation, like tonight's concert, is everyone gets a chance to try something a little bit different. Uh, one of the things that we normally do, we often have this band rehearsing in the music room behind the brick wall. And usually one time before, official performance we get out on the stage. So there will be times that Mr. Dodge is conducting a long run in the auditorium because things sound very differently depending on where you are seated in the auditorium as compared to how things sound on stage. So oftentimes we think we're making balance adjustments here. Play, so play a C. Make it around to the back. C, so just one, two, three. It's very common that one of us will be in the back doing the I okay. just did asking for a little bass drum. Good go. But it just, uh, maybe really your, your leg is just too, too uh, loose. It's all loose. Okay. In December. Every once in a while, if you want to try a new location in the auditorium, just to see how different it sounds depending on where you're seated, uh, by all means do that. We've got house lights on, everything's going to be safe and sound. Hey, you can experiment with your seating in the auditorium as well. And then when we have our next official performance, you know where the best seats are. Okay, so our next song is called Simple Gifts. It was made famous by Aaron Copeland. It'll probably be a very familiar tune to many of you. Uh, it establishes the same rhythm concepts that we worked on in Bunker Hill March, dotted quarter note followed by eighth note. So we're just reaffirming that rhythm and carrying it through another one of our songs. Um, this song, instead of the march style, focuses more on keeping our notes smooth and connected. Um, we would call the first song a march We'd call this song a song. I stole that from somebody smarter than me. And the last one's probably more like a dance. Okay, so this is gonna be smooth and connected. It's a slower piece. We really have found that our younger musicians and really all musicians don't like slower pieces as much. So it can be a whole lot more challenging for them to play slower and stretch out their notes. So we'll see how, we, how they do with that. Okay, so we're gonna do 37 to the end. Okay. <coughs> 37 to the end. One, two, and three, and smooth, connected, just like line 56. Okay? Smooth and connected, no spaces between your notes. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Nice watching. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so that the la that was the last part of the song, and, and it does pose some challenges some, to some different instrumentals in the room. Our, our clarinets are playing above the break. It's what we call above the break, which for clarinets can be what. Don't tell them I told you this. It could be one of the more challenging things to do on clarinet. It takes a lot of time to get your fingers in the right place, and it's just a challenge for them. So that's what they're working on. Um, one of the things that we're working on as a band is counting rests. Uh, you might see some of them counting on their fingers, helping each other out. Okay, this is something that we encourage them to do all the time. It, it helps them work together and they won't get lost as much. Um, the two professional musicians over here still count on our fingers while we play. So we tell them to do just we, what we practice when we play. Uh, we're gonna try that section one more time. I want you to try, you're talking, listen to me. Okay, so I want you to try and make your notes longer than the section across the room from you. So mentally, Pick a section across the room from you. I want you to listen for that section, and I want you to make your notes longer than theirs. I'm still hearing a lot of space between the notes. Okay, second thing, check your key signature right now and tell the person next to you what's in your key signature. Watch out for your concert A naturals. We're at 37. Shh. 37 to the end, one more time. Fix one of those things. Smooth and connected. Fix your concert A naturals. Be longer than the person across the room from you. Here we go. Keep your air moving. One, two, and three, and here we go. Good. Just like her. <laughs> I think she's in the right key. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Instrument on your face. So the last thing I want to do before we move on is I want to fix that last note. I don't love the tone on that last note, so I want to fix that last note. Clarinets, don't get louder. Okay, half that volume. Can we play our last note, please? Shh. Trumpets, you're going to play three notes. Everybody else is going to play one note. I'll give you every note. Okay, listen for our last note together after the trumpets move and make it sound like that nice balanced sound. Listen down to the trombones. Last measure, please. On. Let's have everybody. This is the downbeat. <laughs> okay, bring it back, folks. Come on. You can control it. She can't. Instrument on your face. Did you hear that sound at the end? Do that one more time, just your very last sound. The last sound that you had was one of your better sounds of the night. Last sound, ready? Shh. Breathe together, play together. <coughs> Instrument up. <laughs> Trumpets, we're just doing our last sound, your very last note. Okay, we're not gonna play the three quarter notes, just your very last note. Play the, play the whole last measure, sorry, my bad. Whole last measure, all three notes, okay? One, last measure, one, two. 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to shockwave. Okay, so already to me that sounds that sounds better. We would spend uh, a lot of time doing that with some repetition and really focusing on who to listen for uh, and balancing that sound out. So the last song we're gonna show you a little bit of tonight is called Shockwave. Every band needs a song that is just edge your seat, fun and exciting. Okay, and this is that song for them. Uh, the parts themselves are pretty simple but it introduces some more complicated musical concepts like different types of articulation. Should a note be short or long? And it introduces different types of accents. Um, so putting an emphasis on the front part of the note to give the, um, the song a little bit more energy. Okay, so we're gonna play the last section of this piece so that we can hear some of the different energy that this piece gives off. Okay, so we can hear their accents. We should hear um, short and fat notes in our last two measures, and we tell them to use the syllable two for their accents rather than the syllable do. Can you say do four times in a row? One, two, ready, go. Do, 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 do. Good, now can you accent it with the syllable two four times in a row? One, two, ready, Go. Two, 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 two. Is that is that the best accent you can give me? That was kind of wimpy. One, two, ready. Okay, play four B flats on do. One, contra B flat. Four contra B flats on do. One, two, nice warm, smooth sound. One, two, ready. Now play four accented B-flats on two. One, two, with accents. Two, ready. So already we can start to hear a little bit more emphasis on the first part of the note. We're gonna hear that in the song right now. Okay, so shockwave. Let's do 65 to the end. Okay, 65 to the end. 65. Sprody, what time we got? Okay, so, it's okay, thank you, I appreciate it, thank you, is that the second time, really, 65, 65 to the end, one, here we go, 65, Okay, let's start that for real. So what, who does 65 start with? Point. Percussion. Percussion. Percussion only. Percussion confident, please, 65. One, two. One, two, and ready, and. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and ready. Listen, please. Put your put your music in performance order. Line 56. Bunker Hill. Symbol gifts. Shockwave. You got it. I'll kick the uh, microphone off the stage. I guess I did that twice already. Gay band. Say hi to Mrs. McDonald. So, uh, so thank you all for bearing. And stop. So thank you all for bearing with us and che uh, checking out something entirely new. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. The last thing that we're going to do tonight is run through our concert program for you. Um, so you'll hear all the songs that you heard little parts of in their entirety. The finished product. We are going to bring the house lights.
down about three quarters. So if you want to find a new location just to get a new sound experience, um, Fifty-six first, Bunker Hill, Simple Gifts, Shockwave. Line fifty-six. Line fifty-six. Fifty-six Bunker Gifts that are shocking. Smooth and connected, no space. March. Okay, for you, Mr. Purdy just said it, and, and it's really true. For all of you, this is really different too. So I appreciate your patience and your focus. You've been an outstanding band tonight. This is by far your best rehearsal ever. Space between your notes. Watch your road map. Percussion, don't let them slow down. Nice warm sound, smooth and connected.
platform sound. Flutes and trumpets, nice and confident to start. coming tonight. Our last song is Shockwave. I hope you enjoyed what you saw tonight. Please let us know if you have any comments or questions. Send us an email. Give us some feedback on what you thought tonight um, so we can figure out what we're going to do from here on. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Edge your seat energy from beginning to end. Folks, you've done a fantastic job tonight. Finish strong. Okay, please watch carefully. Control your sounds. Good energy.
Thank you, folks. Have a great night. <coughs> See you in June. Okay, band sit. Band sit.